Hey dolls, welcome back to another video. And if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell so you don't ever miss any videos. So now let's get started. Let me tell you what we're gonna be doing today. So basically I got inspired by Popsicle. I think they're called the Sour Patch ice cream where they have like the neon color in the middle and then it had like a milky white coating on the outside. So this is what basically made me do this nail. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna create a nail that kind of resembles to this ice cream popsicle. And I kind of did like a little twist and turn where I added little extra things to it. All the products that I use will be listed down below in the description box. And if you have any question whatsoever, let me know down below in the comment section. So I am using this like lime green yellowish. It does look really yellow on camera, but it's really not, it's very neon. And like I stated before, I am using Valentino's product, except for the green one. And then for the milky white, I am using Young Nails Frosted Pink, which it has nothing to do with pink. It literally is a milky white. So right here, as you can see, I am placing my green shade of acrylic. And I'm trying not to bring it all the way down because that's the effect that I'm going for. I don't want it to over saturate the color or overpower that milky white that I am going to be using. And as you can see, I am placing my first bead. Now for this process, for this nail design, I did, I did use multiple beads of frosted pink. One is because I just wanted to make sure that I am placing that milky white where I want it. Whenever I am placing it near the cuticle area, I know I am going to be filing it down near the cuticle area, so that really didn't matter to me. And I am building my nail with this milky white because it is a core, so it's okay for me to just use it like that instead of capping it. And as you can see, I am getting near the cuticle area and then just dragging it down. And I do let this dry right here so I can see whether it's going to need more beads of that milky white of frosted pink of young nails and towards the end I was like you know what I think it needs one more bead right in the center part I forgot to mention I am using young nails monomer it's one of my favorites the smell it's a little bit strong but not too strong where it lingers way too much like other monomers that I have tried I am actually trying out not polish monomer which is a low odor i still don't know how to feel about that monomer i will be doing a video with you guys so you can see the process and my thoughts regarding to their not polish kit beginner kit i think that's what it's called because i did purchase it so i just want to give you guys a heads up and i am using a size number 12 kalinsky brush i feel like this is the perfect size to start off if you're a beginner opposed to a size number eight i know a lot of people recommend a size eight but i truly recommend a size 12 it's just the perfect size the perfect way that it's just going to pick up the beads so right here i am going to be including my filing process i get constantly asked if i could include my filing process so right here i'm just going to walk through a little bit of what i am going to be using so i am going to be using my five and one and a sanding bit i think this one is a 150 grit and this one is my five in one slim course i really love this bit i have always go back to it i do tend to use this one around 14 to 15 rotations per minute just want to put it out there i do have it on a high speed because i am comfortable with it and i feel like you get a better filing process whenever it is on a high speed and the nail duster that i am using is anime i think that's how you say it if not i will leave it down below in the description box is a cordless nail duster so it's basically you can take it anywhere you want as long as it's charged you don't need no cables until you need to charge it again it lasts a pretty long time it could hold a pretty good charge i'm just gonna say that i really like this nail duster it's a little bit pricey i bought this off syllabu it's a korean nail duster so right here i am going to be going in with my sanding band which is a 150 grit i love the coarse 
of the sanding bit, especially whenever I am going at 8,000 RPMs. Rotations per minute, I feel like you get a better blend. And this part, I tend to do this only because I don't want to wear out my wrist with the nail file. So I do file just the sides and then I go in with that sanding bit and voila. So now right here, I am using my little fanning brush to add this little black speckles. So we are getting close towards the end of the video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And let me know down below in the comment sections what you thought about this nail design. See you guys until next time. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.